In this tutorial, we're going to look at the selection tool and the direct select tool on InDesign in a bit more detail. So up here, we have the selection tool, which the shortcut key is V, or you can press escape. And you can see that's basically a mouse cursor uh, filled in black. So what this allows you to do, it allows you to click on a frame and move an entire frame, be it a text frame, or a picture frame and move the frame itself around fairly easily. It also allows you to rotate frames, it allows you to resize frames. As you can see it's resizing the frame not the image. And if you hover over this circle on a picture it allows you to move an image within the frame. So as you can see, it's moving the image within the frame whilst retaining the position of the frame. Within frames, there are several other options available. Let's look at a text frame in more detail. We have this yellow square here. If I click on this, I can edit the corners, which allows me to create more rounded corners, which is something you may want to use in magazines but you're unlikely to use in newspapers, although there are some circumstances where you might wish to use the uh, more circular corners or rounded corners in newspaper publications. This little red plus icon down here means there's additional text which doesn't fit inside that frame, so if I click on that icon I get the option to then place that text in another frame. So I'm placing it in this frame down here. And as you can see, there's still some text associated there. So I can either add it to an existing frame like I did there, or I can create a new text frame for the additional text. So the direct selection tool, this allows you to move images around in a frame as you can see, it's selecting the contents of the frame directly rather than the frame itself. So using the direct selection tool, I can resize an image, but the frame is still seeing exactly the same size. It's just the image that I'm resizing within that. Another useful tool to know is the free transform tool. If I just deselect the picture frame there, and using the free transform tool, I can change the size of this frame and the contents within that. So it allows me to adjust both the picture or the image size and the frame as well. Whereas the selection tool changes the size of the frame while maintaining the size of the picture and the direct selection tool adjusts the size of the image while maintaining the size of the frame. 